Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to continue talking about customer pricing, namely the book library uh, combination in P21. In a previous video, we talked about the sales price page. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create that uh, book and library and how to apply those pages that you can create. Uh, now, I do have uh, the price book maintenance screen up. You don't need to go in here to create the book before you go create the library. Technically, you can, uh, but I recommend uh, not using this screen to do it, but actually creating the book and applying the pages in the library. The same theory applies to both screens, though, as far as adding pages. Uh, so I'm going to pull up the price library maintenance screen here. Now, we do have to give it a price library ID. It's not just a next sequential number like the price page. Make sure you name it something that you'll remember or it, or it means something to someone. In this case, obviously, I'm just going to call it test five, four, uh, and I'll call my description test four. Now your type is important. If you, if you want to use books and pages, it's, it can be any of these choices, but multiplier multiplier applies very similar to the same way it does in price pages where you pick a, so where you pick a source and you pick a multiplier method, um, and things like that. But what we're focusing on is going to be the non multiplier version. Uh, I, the essentially the first of the highest of if for some reason in this book or in this library, you have multiple books that have multiple pages that affect the same item when it's trying to do its pricing. This is the choice that you're telling the system to take. You can tell it whichever one you find first, that's the price I want you to use the highest, lowest, newest, oldest. Um, so you're just telling the system that for some reason in this library, if the, the item I'm putting on this order has multiple options, I need to know which one I'm picking. Um, so again, that's just a choice for this first case. I'm just gonna put first of whichever one it finds first. That's the pricing I'm going to give. Um, you don't have to do anything else. Obviously active is going to be, um, your, if it, if, if you're able to use it for a customer or not delete inactive are very similar to the same functions. It just means you won't be able to apply it to customers. Um, and that's all you have to do here. Library on contract comes into play if, if you're doing uh, costs with vendor rebates. Um, not really anything we're doing on this video here. Now your sequence here, this is where you can add a bunch of different books. You don't have to have just one book to one library uh, because you can't put pages directly into a library. You have to put pages into a book and then you can put books into libraries. Um, a book can be in multiple libraries. A library can have multiple books. Uh, in this case, we're just going to just, we're just going to call this the same thing. We're gonna call it test four. We're going to give it. So I'm creating a book here. Same as if I was trying to create a book here, uh, in the actual price book maintenance screen. Um, so that did not exist. I created it on the fly. Now, when I go to the price, uh, page tab, again, it's very similar to the price page tab down here in the bottom of, uh, price book maintenance. Uh, and you'll see, it does tell you which, which, um, book you're trying to put the page in. Um, so I can do a search for a page that I want to add in here. This was the one that we were looking at earlier and the expiration date and the effective date get pulled over from the price page. So there's no, uh, interactive here. Now you can't come in and delete it out of a book if you want. Uh, and it will, if you delete it out of a book and hit save, it won't be there anymore. But that's it. That's creating a library in a book and applying the pages to the book within that library. Uh, all you have to do is hit save. And at that point, you are able to use that on a customer, which I'll cover in another video. If you have questions about books, libraries, and pages, put it down below. If you got questions about anything, put it down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.